Hi, my name is Pierre, and I want to thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Build Your Difference podcast. Before we get started with this episode, though, I wanted to take a second and just acknowledge what's going on right now in the world with the COVID-19. Because, I mean, this is really something unprecedented, and I have never experienced anything like this. Everyone that I know is on self-quarantine. This whole thing is, it's really, it's remarkable. I, I just want to say, look, s- stay strong. Stay strong. We're going to get through this together pretty soon. We're gonna be on the other end of this whole situation. We're gonna be stronger for it. If you haven't had time recently in your life to to take a a little bit of a breather or to sort of get back to some of those projects that might be on the back burner or whatever, now was the time to pick up on things that we may have been postponing for whatever reason. A lot of companies have been sending out these business continuity letters explaining that Look, they're going to stay in business. They they have a plan for something like this. We don't need to worry. Uh, we can continue doing business with them. And I want to say, <laughs> on behalf of the, the team at Blue Artists, that we do have a business continuity plan. So first and foremost, uh, all of us are still reporting to work. We're working from home. Um, so we're, we're making it work. We're making it happen. If there is a delay or if there is, you know, we'll be sure to let you know. Um, you know, we, we've had a business continuity plan in place for quite some time. In fact, We've been working towards our uh, next big step, our next evolution, and that's Brand Desk. Um, in fact, this episode of the podcast is about Brand Desk, and we're going to be talking a little bit more about what Brand Desk actually is, but suffice it to say that it really is uh, the, the, the next step for our business. It's, it's going to provide us a, a better way to continue to serve you and a better way for us to serve all of our team members and and, and hopefully to expand and to you know to bring in even more customers and even more team members brand desk is something that is coming has this whole COVID 19 been a bump in the road yes absolutely it has you know what the road is bumpy (laughs) this is entrepreneurship we're talking about this is running a business running a a business that you know if you expected uh, entrepreneurship to be a paved road with no bumps, then I got another thing for you. So yes, this has been a bump in the road, but it's not one that we're not prepared for. We're gonna get through this and Brandes is going to launch probably in, in just, in, you know, literally in just the next few months. You will hear directly from me. I will reach out to you. We're gonna keep updating the podcast so that you, you can sort of keep tabs on how things are moving along. I will probably reach out to you directly um, to help you migrate over into Brand Desk and, and ensure that you have a really good experience getting set up. Um, just stay strong. Know that we're in this together. Use this this time wisely. See it as an opportunity. I know it's challenging. You know, the economy is basically at a halt. That is an unprecedented challenge, absolutely, for every single person. But 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 try your best, just like we are, to, to stay the course, continue to meet our obligations, continue to keep building so that when we get on the other side of this, we would not have missed a beat. This is Build Your Difference, a podcast created by Blue Artists, a brand platform with one goal, to help great visionaries like you build impressive brands. Every month, we'll bring you insightful tips, knowledge, and compelling stories from successful entrepreneurs and the Blue Artist team on how to create and market a winning brand that does more than just launch a new product or service. It starts an ongoing conversation. Because you're not just making a brand, you're making a difference. Let's start building. In the the little bit of it that I've seen, that's kind of what what kind of comes to mind is that it personalizes it yeah that, in a yeah. way yeah you know and and, and this may be totally off <laughs> so we can edit that part this part coming up if we need to but <laughs> when when i saw I saw the bit of it that you showed me it kind of made me think of if you took the best parts of like say fiverr upwork mm-hmm. and i don't know if you're familiar with uh platforms like slack or tre- is it trello i think yeah it looks like you that the best parts of both of those got together, had a baby, and called it Brand Desk. <laughs> if that makes any sense. You know what? That does make sense. <laughs> that does make sense. I, 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 go, no, go ahead. Go ahead. 
Sorry, sorry. When I saw those few screenshots you showed me, it just sort of reminded me how like a site like Slack is trying to emphasize communication with all the team members, mm -hmm. those who really need to be involved in the project, whether it's two people or, or 15 people, right? right. Um, but also with that sort of... Um, Brain, cut this, <laughs> that, cut that, this that, part out. No, no, no worries. Let me, <laughs> let me, let me jump in. Um, yeah, please, please. I, do. <laughs> I think that, I think that uh, you're absolutely right. Like you know, bringing the, bringing sort of the best parts of these different sites, sort of molding it into one unit, and and sort of figuring out what is that secret sauce. And so this is this is what I thought. I had an aha moment one day when I realized I was working with my team. And uh, we were working on a fairly large scale project. And, and a, lot of, a lot of times my job as a director is to give very clear direction, very clear instruction to each member of the team, not to micromanage. This is, this is a very macro level, level instruction, but to provide clear direction so that everyone understands what they need to uh, deliver on. Okay, And then let them go. And I had an aha moment and I, and I realized, you know what? If I, could, if I could find a way in a platform to be able to deliver clear directive-based instruction so that nobody felt like their time was being wasted mm -hmm. on this platform, then, then that's actually going to not just inspire people, but that's going to that's gonna help people feel comfortable. It's going to give them a sense of... It's going to, you know, whatever anxiety, you know, you kind of feel every time you accept a new gig on, on one of these other platforms, it's going to alleviate that anxiety. It's going to create this sort of atmosphere of, okay, you know what? I know whatever happens, the platform has got my back. And so I sat down and I sort of started, I started writing out maybe one or two very simple workflows. These are for some simple projects like logo design or uh, 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 press kit or something like that. I wrote out a workflow. And I gave it to one of my team members, and I said, hey, check this out. Like, if someone gave you this workflow as a set of instructions, would you know how to fully produce this project, a logo project, from A to Z? Like, do you feel completely empowered? To, like, if I gave you a workflow and said, here's the step-by-step -step instructions on how to produce a logo project. Now, you maybe have no idea how to produce a logo project you've never done before. In fact, you're not even an artist you're not even a graphic designer. You're, you know, you're, you're just a, a, a maybe a, someone who really enjoys like, okay, let me, let me, let me, re, let me, <laughs> let me say it this way. It's like cooking. It's like cooking. It's yeah, like cooking. Yeah. It's like if you have a recipe, as long as you enjoy getting into the kitchen and cooking, it doesn't really matter. You, you how don't you have get there. How, yeah. It's like, look, if you give me a recipe now, I feel empowered. Okay. Right. I know how to crack some eggs. I know how to stir. I know how to, you know, measure. Just give me a recipe and, and I'll get the ingredients and I'll make it happen. But the recipe is key. So I recognize that. And, and I think with Brand Desk, we've, we have built over 500 different unique workflows uh, for all of the different products that are going to be on Brand Desk at launch. And those workflows act like recipes. So everyone who's involved, everyone who, who, who's involved with a particular project on Brandesk is going to have access to this workflow or recipe, and they're going to feel encouraged and empowered to get in there and start cooking. And yeah. um, I got to tell you, I think that that, I think that's probably our secret sauce because ultimately, and this is the last thing I want to say on this, but, <laughs> uh, well, it's not the last thing I want to say, but this is, this is um, I think, to sum it all up, we want to create a platform that people, they don't want to run away from. They want mm. to run to. Yeah. Okay. And I think that's what makes Brandesk special. We, we want people to feel like, oh my God, I have all these choices, but Brandesk is by far the most comfortable. I just want to go there because I don't have to think about all the other crap. I can just go get in there and do what I love doing. I think from the client perspective, you mentioned about the frustration they have there because uh, and I can totally relate to that because every once in a while there's a project where, you know, I have to kind of go into my client mode where I have to f find some talent, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I'll be very specific about what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. And let's say um, I need a, a female voice artist. Yeah. Well, let's say if I get 10, 10 profiles back 
on Upwork, three to five of those will be will be men. And I'm like, I'm sure I'm like, I'm sure you're an incredibly skilled talent, but I don't need you right now, yeah. you know, and you, now that's just wasted my time yeah. for these four five, six other other female talents who could um, be perfect for the role, you know? Yeah. So and I guess they're, they're thinking if I just just wow him with an amazing cover letter, he'll change his tune and think, you know what? Oh, maybe I do need a, a, a man's voice on this, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, it is like, like I've said before, like finding a needle in a haystack with mm-hmm. talent sometimes. Mm-hmm. And so if, if we can clear that haystack out of the way, you know, make everyone's lives so much easier, the client especially. Yeah. Great. Well, you know what? It's that, that is exactly it. Making everyone's lives so much easier. And I, mm-hmm. I think, you know, you and I, we have a lot of experience working with clients. So we understand how important it is that a client feel empowered to go through this process. Um, but you know what, what I, what I've also realized is that clients are, they are, they are important because clients are the ones paying. They're the ones paying for yeah. a particular project, but you know what? They're a client who has a vision and may have a, may have a checkbook with a, you know, able to write a check. Uh, that is only as good as the person to whom they're paying. Mm. And, and so what's really important is, I think it's important that, that the workers, the freelancers like me and you, we've got to feel mm. excited. We've got to feel yeah. empowered because, because that energy is contagious and that gets the clients excited. Right. And I think what I recognized, and this is something you're going to see in Brandesk, is that we, we understand that every project, that a project works best when... Mm. Every person has a specific hat that they're wearing, okay? Um, and I think a lot of times freelancers, like, 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 uh, like the, some of the freelancers I've met, even on Upwork, they have to wear so many different hats. They, yeah. have to, they have to worry about customer service. They have to worry about project management. They have to worry about uh, accounting. They have to worry about billable hours. They have to worry about customer complaints. <laughs> well, don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> like, they, like, they have to worry about all these extra things on top of doing what they're actually paid to do, which is their particular craft. And yeah. I think that's a problem. I think that's mm-hmm. a legitimate problem. And I thought, you know what? Look, we every project should have a producer. Every project should have a guide. Every project should have an artist. And every project should have a client. And Brand Desk, what's revolutionary about Brand Desk is it's bringing all of those those skills together on every single project. So yeah. every project that a client purchases on Brand Desk comes equipped with a guide, a producer, and an artist, or however many artists are needed. And the sure. artists don't have to worry about project management. That's the producer's job. The, the artist just has to worry about doing the one thing that they have to do. And I think when everyone has very clear lanes and can, can sort of optimize and get excited about their lane, then it makes the whole thing smoother, more exciting. Mm-hmm. And, um, and, and I think it, 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 that, that's how we're going to get people to, to, to want to be on our platform instead of running away from our platform. Absolutely. Yeah. It just helps everyone alleviate the stress. Yeah. Just focus on what you got to do. Yeah. 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 And I mean, awesome. just imagine like, you know, uh, one more thing that I've realized, and I don't know if you've realized this, when, you, when, you've, when you've gone on Upwork and you've had to wear your, your sort mm-hmm. of client hat as you're searching for talent on Upwork, mm-hmm. one of the hardest things to do is to understand the value of your request, you know, mm-hmm. like in, in terms of the pricing. You know, yeah. how much should I pay? How much, how much is this project worth? You know, I have one freelancer who's asking for, for, for 10 times what I'm willing to pay. And I have another freelancer who's asking for a half of what I'm willing to pay. I don't understand. Mm-hmm. If I go with the guy at, who's asking for half, am I risking lower quality? What if I go with the guy who's, who wants 10 times as much? Will they give me better quality? I mean, there's really no way to know. <laughs> No, no, right? and it could go either way because I've had it happen that that way before. You yeah, know, you know, I've 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 found some amazing talent at amazingly low prices. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. um, part of that is just searching through through the list, the, the haystack, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and part of it is having that that patience 
and really knowing what you want. Right. And and just communicating. Well, but but you know what? Even someone like you and even someone mm-hmm. like me who has that kind of experience to know what we want, we've still been burnt. Oh, sure. Right? You yeah. know? So so what if we could eliminate all of that? What if as a client, you don't have to worry about how much does something, how much is the, va- we just tell you, this is how much this costs. Like on brand desk, if you want to buy a logo, there's one price. There's one price. You don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to negotiate. Yeah. <laughs> there's one price. And then, and then as part of that one price, brand desk, and this is so cool. Brand desk provides financing options to all clients at every level. So mm-hmm. it may be if, some, if there's, a, there's a price for a project that might be outside of your, your budget, but that's the value of that particular project. Brandesk mm-hmm. can break it down so that it becomes uh, something that you can pay in installments. That way it becomes more affordable, that, mm-hmm. that you can buy it, but the value is not reduced. So, right. so I think that's really important. And so when that project gets purchased, uh, Brandesk knows... In, it, it, based off of the the way the the platform is designed, it knows how much to pay the artist mm-hmm. and how much to pay the producer to make yeah. sure we're getting the best talent at the market rate. Right, and so that's all clear up front. Then it's all clear up front. Yeah, and yeah. Um, and I think that I, I I I'm thinking that that is something that clients will really gravitate to because when mm-hmm. they come to our agency at Blue Artists and they're running away from Fiverr, you know, or running away screaming from Upwork, it's, it's usually because they've had a terrible experience and they don't understand, like, you know, they just want someone competent to take their vision and bring it to reality. Right. And so with Brandesk, they can trust the talent, trust those leading the, the charge, the producers and whatnot. And they know up front what their cost is going to be. Right. Right. And so they can trust they it's in good hands and with the money they've invested the end product is going to be worth it that's right they can yeah. absolutely trust that and and if they if 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 the uh, upfront price is not within their budget they can also trust that brandes is going to provide extremely competitive financing options payment plans even discounts like- thanks for listening to this episode of build your difference If you'd like to learn more about how Blue Artists can help you develop a distinguished brand that inspires and engages a growing audience, then please visit us at www.blue-artist.com and be sure and subscribe to our monthly podcast for the latest tips and trends in brand development and marketing. And remember, you're not just making a brand, you're making a difference. Start building yours today 